Hi, and welcome to MBA 592 Organizational Behavior for the summer 2018. This is the video syllabus. This is sort of a getting started video to help you understand how this course is going to work, what your responsibilities are, and what's the best ways of achieving the learning goals of the course. So the best thing to start out first is to look over announcements. So the first announcement I have is getting started, the weekly assignments. So for each week, you're going to be reading assigned chapters, watching lecture videos that I've posted on YouTube, completing discussion board questions and posts, and working with the Homework Manager website to complete assignments and quizzes. So this video, when you should watch this video in its entirety because it will really help you get a better feel of all the ins and outs of the course so you don't miss anything and so you don't miss any points. You may also want to subscribe to the video playlist for the course, which will contain all the videos in the course. I will also be um, giving you the weekly videos each week so you know what to watch. But this is the way everything will be organized in one easy to follow playlist. So the playlist will have all the videos um, for the course in one streaming order. So it's easy to go to and see which of the videos you're working with that week. And it's something I suggest if you're going to be working with the course in a more efficient manner, just subscribe to that YouTube video list. And the link for subscribing is right here. Okay, following through with announcements. Sometimes in announcements I may post an article that's related to our, our course topic. It's sort of a real world um, article that is directly related to a particular chapter we may be going over. And then here, the next assignment announcement I have is the homework manager. So this tells you the homework manager website, the class code for the homework manager, and instructions on how to register for the homework manager. And then we have the, so let's just actually go over to the homework manager. So when you log, when you see the homework manager, it's going to look something like this. And you would click student. And then you would, you need your, some basic information, email address, your instructor's course ID. So the course ID you can find on step four here, instructor's course ID, which is listed here. It's listed in the syllabus and it's also listed under your assignments. So once you have those things in some method to pay, you can click on register. This is where you would enter in the course ID. So you would take the course ID from here. Put that in here. And continue. And then it'll ask you to create a username and password to create an account and then you would uh, also pay for the course. Now through this you can also buy the textbook with the homework manager as an ebook which has certain advantages and this is what you would want to see as a, on your course MBA 592 Nugent Summer 2018. Okay so let's let's give a look at what the homework manager look at look like once you have the account. Okay so this is the basic opening page and if you pay to have the e-textbook included which is probably the most I think the lowest cost is to um, buy the homework manager with the ebook and I give you a couple links on the syllabus one link would lead you to this page where there's an option here for the e-textbook and the uh, instant access let's see so this is the one you want the my lab and management with the e-textbook that's a hundred dollars here but I think it might be less if you buy it through the homework manager so just explore your options and when you have the e-textbook you click on e-textbook here and then view the e-textbook and if you have a pop-up blocker you may want to disable the pop-up blocker I know Chrome usually has that installed it's easy to just kind of pull down and then the book appears here and you can read it as an online edition of the book is probably the lowest cost option and the assignments for the class would be here under assignments so you would have your quizzes could be listed separately and we have a quiz for for each of the chapters we're covering and then if you go to assignments this would list all quizzes and assignments uh, if you go to homework it would just list the homework so the homework is designated by the blue dot and the quizzes by the orange square 
and all the assignments are in chronological due date order. So the first assignment is getting started with my lab and management. So this is a very important assignment which gives you an overview of how this um, website works. So it's very important to complete this first getting started and I think there's points associated with it as well so you need to do it for the course and then you can go there are different types of assignments you click into and when you click on the assignment chapter question here it'll pull up another box and so this will give you a quick question something related to the chapter and then what is the meaning of big data and you can put in select an answer and then if you select it once is I'm not sure twice is you're sure and you submit and so it actually tells you you have it wrong so you go to the next question so this is just like a little um, sort of getting started with the chapter brief questions and then there could be a video assignment where you click on the question and you would watch a video so the video link will be embedded here's the video link you click on that and it opens up the video to watch and then you will ask a question about the video you answer your question you can check your answer and then you actually get two chances to try and get it right in some cases three and then you go on to the next question so pretty simple video case okay and then there of course is the chapter quiz and the quizzes uh, you start the uh, quiz and you have just uh, 25 questions related to the chapter one that we're covering that you're going to answer and you only get one attempt on the quiz and when you're done answering all the questions there's no time limit you hit submit quiz and then it'll automatically grade your quiz and put it into your grade book and then we have something called a personal inventory assessment which is another slightly different type of assignment that's going to work on assessing your skills your knowledge your personality these are all different types of assessments to get you to know understand your company's culture your perspectives um, your awareness of different things a little bit better so here you would you would answer your questions on the survey I've already answered some of them myself and then you just complete the survey and it gives you I've already put the answers in and it gives you sort of a score so here you just really have to work through it and complete it and then you get the full points so not a terribly you know it's not really a knowledge based assignment it's more of a personal inventory so it's kind of a fun thing to do find out a little bit about yourself and then so that'd be chapter one and then we move into chapter two I'm sorry this is chapter 12 as we're doing as the second chapter and I've ordered them in a way that makes sense for the papers we're working on and the discussion board questions we're working on and you just kind of follow this list and you can see that in the first week on July 14th we have two chapters we're working on and then the next set of chapters are due on July 21st and then July 28th so every seven days uh, is I put all the for each week I put all these these homework manager due dates due on the end of the week to you know give you a chance to organize your time and figure out when it's best to submit your your homeworks on the homework manager uh, and then of course you'll have a grade book on the homework manager that I'll maintain the grades of the homework manager and I'll even put over push over the grades for the uh, two papers and discussion boards onto the homework manager this is a place where you'll see at the end of the course you'll see your complete grade here on this homework manager okay so it's very important to get this established because it really gives a more uh, multi-dimensional approach to learning organizational behavior rather than just straight lecture reading and questions it, it is a little bit more involved a little bit more interactive so the papers I was mentioning before that on the announcements I have um, there's one paper called the CF CEO profile and a second paper called the culture paper and they're both worth 200 points and I have a particular rubrics of how I grade your paper from A to F and the five areas that I look for in your paper you know for example I'm looking for it to be well organized with a good visual appeal and formatting 
We're looking at, for it to be well researched uh, with more than three sources. I'm looking for you to cite your sources in the proper um, citation a format using uh, CSE, APA, or MLA. I'm looking for the writing to be interesting, engaging, professional, grammatically correct, um, flowing well from section to section, and I'm looking that all topics requested in the paper have been answered thoroughly. And a good use of space, a good efficient use of writing with not a lot of re repetitive uh, information or fillers uh, to round out the paper. Okay, and then uh, lastly, I have, again, I've backed up all the My Finance Lab. Here's the course ID again, and all the, the assignments and the due dates, just as a reminder. Okay, so those are the announcements that you should be familiar with, and more announcements will pop up every week as we remind you what to work on for the week, and as we remind you about certain things, um, due dates that are coming up, and exams. This is, well, there's no midterm or final, it's all quizzes from the homework manager. So there is no uh, when you go to the tests, they're all quizzes. There's no final exam or midterm. It's just quizzes for every chapter along the way. Okay, so those are announcements. Let's go to the syllabus and look over the syllabus here. And so in the syllabus, I give again the options of how to purchase the book. You can purchase it through the homework manager, or you can purchase it through my Pearson store. This is the my Pearson store, and this is the chapter 14 text. So there's a couple of options. Here's the course ID again. So look over your options and get a better idea of what would be the best for you. You can also get a hard copy of the book. You can buy a hard copy of the book from Amazon. And then if you get a hard copy, you can buy just the um, homework manager by itself. You know, so there are a lot of options of how to organize this. Now the class is asynchronous, which that means um, we're never going to meet in real time. So I'm going to post pre-recorded video lectures, documents, uh, exams and assignments and then you figure out what's the best time of day to complete them but everything has to be done before the due date so I put all the assignments up day one you see all the assignments that you need to do for the course and you plan out uh, when is the best time for you to work on the class but just remember you still have to have certain assignments completed before the due date okay so this syllabus is something that you should read over your in its entirety and it's going to go over the course description, the course objectives, the learning objectives and goals for the course, how we're going to accomplish the goals, what constitutes class time. Class time is basically the pre-recorded video lectures I have that I would have presented in course in the class, and the discussion boards, where the discussion boards are sort of like those class discussions we'd have in the class talking about certain current events or certain topics, but we're going to do those in a discussion board environment. Uh, office hours are by appointment. We can use sort of like a Skype or SB Connect if we need to talk, or even just email if it's a simple question. The grading, so I just want to warn you, there are no late assignments that will be accepted in this class. You must make sure that you complete all your assignments on time. If you do have a situation where you're going on a couple of short vacation or you're going to have um, something's coming up, a wedding, make sure you go ahead and complete your assignments ahead of time. Just because you have an event doesn't mean I'm going to extend the due date. I'm not going to extend any due date. So make sure that if you have things that are going, going to slow you down, that you pre-finish some of the homeworks in advance. And that's why I'm opening up the class early so you can even get started in the class before the actual official start date to get a head start on the work. So the, the two papers, the reports, are 200 points each. Discussion board questions are 400 points. The quizzes are 700 points, and the homework manager assignments are 500 points. The whole class is out of 200 points, and if you divide these points by 20, you can get the conversion to a letter grade. Now, as far as participation, uh, I expect students to actively engage and participate in the discussion board, which means that you'll be logging to the discussion board at a minimum three days a week, hopefully four days, and you're going to be making anywhere from two to four um, posts for each uh, class discussion board and that means you're going to read other students posts you're going to respond to them they're going to respond to yours and we're going to have this real back and forth type of discussion and that's what would be participation okay so the cultural the organizational cultural report i list out what i'm looking for in the syllabus and the ceo report as well 
It's also backed up on our assignments, which I'm going to go to next. And then I have our basic course schedule and what lectures we'll watch each week and what chapters we'll cover each week. Okay, so this is not really meant to read the whole syllabus to you. I'm just giving you the highlights of the syllabus. You should go over and make yourself familiar with that. Uh, I'm going to move to documents next. So in documents, basically have the PowerPoints that are going to be associated with my video lectures. If you want to download those for aid in studying or just to kind of watch along with the videos and under assignments. So I repeat the homework manager information again because there are, most of your assignments are with this homework manager um, that we have over here that you're going to be working with on a weekly basis. So this is just more that same information again. Now the discussion board, I break down the information. This is just the assignment. You don't, you're not going to submit anything to this. We're going to go over the discussion boards in a minute. But here, it's 400 points is the discussion board. And I will go over the discussion board in more detail when we get to that menu item here. But it's 400 points of your total score. Okay, so here is the first paper. It's due July 28th, 200 points. And I want you to answer these six questions about some CEO. So I want you to select a CEO, a leader, hopefully of a, a large corporation that there have been books about them, plenty of articles, plenty of information that you could cultivate to write a paper about some CEO, could be a CFO, a, a president of a company, also just a leader of the company. And I want you to give me the background, their leadership style, their leadership values, their, you know, their personal strengths, weaknesses, failures, successes, um, describe the qualities that make this leader effective and what you can learn from this leader. And I'm looking for the, the paper to be somewhere between 1200 and 1500 words, which is about four to five pages. You can use any font you want, double spacing, single spacing, triple spacing. I don't care about your spacing or the size of your fonts because I'm looking that your paper be within 1,200 to 1,500 words. I, I would say that, you know, if you went over 1,500 words, that's not going to be a penalization. It's only if you're under the minimum words that that's going to affect your score. And then you save your file as a PDF or Word document, and you would click on the CEO profile paper here, and then you would browse browse your computer and submit your file, um, attach your file to the assignment and then click on the submit button down here. And that's how you submit the paper to me electronically through this assignment link. So that's the first paper. The second paper is the culture profile. So this is looking at the culture of a company and I have five separate questions I want you to answer on the culture of a company. And again, we're, f we're following similar um, scope of 12 to 1500 words, which is sometimes between four to five pages, but don't get hung up on pages. I'm really counting words, um, not pages, because, you know, you can make 200 words be 20 pages if you want to put 20 page, 20, 20 words per page. So I'm not really about pages. I'm about the word count. So I give you this range because if I don't, I get papers that are way too small or some papers that are way too big. So this gives you a good idea, a target to shoot for. And again, once you complete this paper, which is due August 18th, you click on the culture paper button there, and then you would click on browse my computer and submit your file. Okay, so those are the, the Blackboard assignments there. So let's get into the discussion boards. So under the discussion boards, each week I have one discussion board question. So if you click on the discussion board question, so there's 400 points for the discussion board. So if you break that down, if you take the 400 points and you divide by six, that's about 67 points a week or 66.667 points a week. So each week what I'm looking for you to do is I'll put a description. So this first week, I'm expecting every student to post one original response, which means you're going to read this paper from the Pew Report research paper, and then you're going to answer these questions. And I want you to post your original answers on Monday or Tuesday, so it gives everybody a chance to read your original post, and then you can start making replies to other students' posts on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you're also responsible for reading and answering any posts people attach to your original posts. So that's what makes a discussion. So here, once you're ready to submit your discussion, you click on discussion week one, and then I have two threads already created. Uh, so to create your thread, you would click on create thread, and then you would 
put in, I suggest putting in your name first. So put your name in and you can put something like, you know, discussion question one or in there and then you put then you would submit your your response in the text box below answering the questions it may even be probably smart to highlight you know copy these questions down here and then you don't have to make an essay a fish a formal essay out of it but just put the questions in and then underneath each question submit your response and then hit submit and then you will see your new thread will be up here so I'm just going to delete that. So, so for example, you can put discussion question one, or this is about gender. So you can put the title of the, just so I know the student and basically uh, what you're answering. And then, so if this is the students, if I was reading a student's response here, I can reply to them and say something like too short. And then you'll see the responses there. Obviously, when you reply, you don't just say something too short. You give a good, um, you might ask a follow-up question or bring up some experiences or you add, you build to the conversation, build to the discussion. And then when you read each student's discussion post, you rate them from one to five stars. Five stars if you think it's super great. One star if it's very poor. And this sends an instant feedback message to the students uh, about what's happening, what they're doing, and they can kind of get an understanding of how the, um, the peer feedback is on their posts. Okay, so by the time everyone's done, I'll see a whole list here of every student in their original response, and then you go in and your responsibilities as a student in this class, as part of our class time or our discussion time, is you go in, you read every student's original response, and then for at least two students, you, you write back some sort of supportive or uh, helpful or additional, uh, additional information response to one of their posts okay and when you're in when you create your post let me just go back okay so that is just for week one so you see that week one week two three four or five and six we have six different discussion board posts and we have one bonus post up here called questions about the course so this is something you can do at any time so if you have a question here could be a question the student posted uh, when can I start working on the assignments? Can I start early? And I would reply So I'd probably yes, you can start early. So that might be a common question. Can I start the course early? I see you have the, the site up and you know, here could be another question uh, from a student that have some discerns about uh, the question. So this is from a former student, and then I then I would reply. Now you only use this group discussion board if the question is not personal, and the question would be something that would be useful or helpful to other students in the course. And you can click here to subscribe. Uh, then you'll see this this unsubscribe will change to subscribe so now i'm subscribed um, so anyway any anytime someone posts a question here i will i will get an email to my email saying that new questions posted so i can answer it as quickly as possible now i don't have on the on the regular discussion board questions i don't have the subscriptions the subscribe button set up because it winds up being too many emails because every time someone posts in there every time someone posts a reply you wind up getting 50 emails a day so I only have the subscribe available for the questions about the course and then each week as as you complete the discussion board questions I will go back in and I'll be reading your your posts and your responses and I'll prepare a grade for you in the grade book so when we go to the grade book, I initially give you the full 400 points and I take points away each week if you don't make the necessary posts, if your posts are weak and I leave your feedback on the blackboard as to why I took points away. So if you see a full 100 points, 
then you know that you're doing fine and haven't taken any po points away. And under announcements, I'll post when I'm done grading the discussion boards uh, for you. Okay, so that's the main elements of the course. So the quickly review, if you're coming in for the first time, go to announcements, read over the announcements, and watch the the getting ready video, which, will, which is what you're watching right now, obviously. Read over the syllabus in its complete entirety. Um, you may want to look at or download the PowerPoints and then start working on the assignments. Sign up for the homework manager, um, review the discussion board and post your response to the first discussion board question and then start thinking about who you would want as your CEO or CFO or president of a company to talk about for your CEO paper and who, what company you'd want to choose as your culture, your company for your culture project. Um, and then you can start working in discussions and the discussion board is something that you know, I'm expecting you to be at least involved in this, uh, uh, hopefully five days a week, but if not, you know, a minimum of three days a week where you're making an original post answering the questions and then working with other students to uh, explore and describe and discuss their answers and questions and add to the conversation as best you can. Okay, so that's pretty much the class in a nutshell. If you have any questions about the course, you can email me directly, or you could put it, your question here in the discussion board questions about the course, and I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I think you'll find the course very enjoyable, and I, I worked very hard to make it flow uh, very logically and easily to understand how to do the work in the course and how to organize it in a way that it makes sense and is logical. Okay, thank you for your time, and I hope you found this video helpful.